Hi, this is Donna Stott with Your Coaching Matters, bringing you this month's two-minute tip. I've got six or seven things for you to look at between now and the end of the year that are exactly what you should be doing to make next year your best year ever. So tip number one, review your 2015. Look at the transactions you did, the sources, the income, the costs. Get clear on your year. Spend a half an hour, an hour doing that. Next, based on that review, set up your 2016 goals that stretch you but are still realistic. Get rid of the costs that didn't pay off and consider where you should put those funds instead. Maybe coaching is an investment for you. Number three, get an accountability partner, someone to set up a small, sweet step each day with and to report the following day on how you did. No judgment, just a report. These small, sweet steps should move you towards something you're trying to accomplish or clean up some sludge in your life. Ask us if you have, want more information on small, sweet steps. Number four, set up your schedule. All your repeating events for your business and your life. Be sure to use your calendar as a vision of the future and a history of the past. If it doesn't fit in your calendar, it will not fit in your life. So this means if you don't do an item on your calendar, you want to move it or delete it and fill it in with what you actually did do. This is called looking, seeing, and telling the truth about your time. Number five, clean. Clean your office, your car, your computer desktop, your inbox. Make three piles or folders. Trash, do now, and do later. Makes it really easy to get cleaned up. Number six, send five to 25 handwritten notes to people who made a difference in your career this year. Thank them sincerely and ask if there's anything you can do for them. And ask for their continued support this year. And tip number seven, Write a letter to yourself dated December 31st, 2016. It's really effective to do this on December 31st, 2015. This is an affirmation of how great your year was. Write it as if you have completed it as you're imagining it. Be enthusiastic and give yourself praise and be grateful. Seal it, date it, and then open it each quarter. We hope that uh, you have learned something from our two-minute tips in 2015, and you'll be watching and being with us again in 2016. Uh, Donna Stott and all of the coaches at Your Coaching Matters wish you a very happy holiday and a happy new year.